G'day everybody. Welcome to this advanced campaign cartographer uh, tutorial. What we're going to be learning in this tutorial is how to quickly create a symbol catalog from PNG files and then how to get those assigned to buttons in, in your campaign cartographer menu so that you can actually drop these symbols very quickly down into your maps. Now all of this will be part of the uh, upcoming campaign cartographer annual uh, hopefully for July, which will include a whole bunch of science fiction battle map making um, tools. So uh, let's get right to it. The first thing I'm going to need to do is actually bring up the PNG files. And uh, what I've done here is I'll demonstrate with the hazard text signs. This is just basically a huge bunch of hazard text in different styles. So I'm going to open this up. You can see this is a PNG file, various different forms. Lots of interesting stuff. Now all of these signs are going to be available for dropping down as symbols onto your decks on your starships. So obviously the first step is create your transparent PNG files, which I have got here. I'm just going to minimize that. The next step is to open up Campaign Cartographer. There we go. Um, and we're going to go File, New. I'm not going, oh yeah, I'll save those. And then we're going to go, we're going to create a new symbol catalog. Now, the reason I'm starting with a new symbol catalog is it will give us a nice starting place for building our, our symbol catalogs out of the PNG files. Um, so we'll just go for the predefined template. I'm just going to choose the, uh, choose the blank dungeon catalog. By default, the grid which is set is 10 foot, which is fine because most of the uh, symbols that I'm going to be bringing in. I want to be producing at a particular ratio to fit within either 5 foot grids or 10 foot grids. The next thing I'm going to do is click over here. Now when you click on this little toggle here, you'll either show the symbols which have been set in the currently selected catalog, which in this case is uh, from uh, the, the previous map, or it will show the currently loaded symbols that are available that are, have actually been put down onto the drawing. And as you can see, there's, there's none of them. So this is the catalog ready and waiting for something to be clicked down on. If I clicked on this hallway and popped it down there, and back here, you'd see there's now one of these added. So this now means, this when this is toggled in, this means these are the symbols which are in our drawing. Uh, if I clicked a different one, put another one in here, you can see that's now added. Now, I don't want any other symbols on in the actual drawing, so I'm going to use the eraser selection tool here. Select. Just going to get rid of those. Do it. Click. The refresh. Nothing. And if we, of course, come back and refresh this, it's still there because technically they are still in the document. They've been used in the document. So in order to get rid of everything in the document, you go purge symbols. Okay. And again, if we refresh it, now they're gone. So. And you want to always start with a completely empty catalog set. It just makes working a lot easier. So, how do we get the PNG files into this? There's a function in here called import PNGs. But it's really important that you import the PNGs from the right location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reopen up my file explorer. Just go back one file. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to come over to my Pro Fantasy installation directory. Now I, because I'm running Windows 7 64-bit, I decided that I actually installed Pro Fantasy not in the Programs folder, which is the standard area, but I, I put it right in the root directory. Now that's just something you can do under 64-bit. Um, it's not absolutely mandatory, it's something I've done. Um, not program files, I'm sorry, Pro Fantasy. I was down one. Click on Campaign Cartographer 3. And I want to put my symbol PNG files in my symbols catalog. I'm actually going to drop them under Cosmographer. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this High Space Floor Symbols. Make it very, very clear. Double click on that and I'm going to paste it in there. So there we go. I've now got a folder sitting inside the Pro Fantasy program folder. Now the reason we want to do this will become very clear in a moment. Just make sure they're all there. That's good. 
Let's now import the symbols. So here we go, import the PNGs. Where's the source folder? I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say the source folder is on my C drive, Impro Fantasy, Campaign Cartographer 3, uh, we'll browse down to find symbols, and then we'll go Cosmographer. Again, you can put these folders wherever you want, as long as they are within that symbols um, uh, folder. Uh, high space 4, hazard text, excellent. Just click on one of them, make sure that we've got the right thing, and open. When you bring in your symbols, make sure that you select relative to CC3 path. Now the reason why you want it to be relative to the CC3 path is that if you then want to have these run on another machine, um, you're going to need to have a way of the, the computer knowing where they are. And if you ever move these then you know, between different machines or even different users on a machine, if they're an absolute path, you're going to get the symbols not loading correctly. It's not going to be able to find the PNG files. So relative to the path, you can see that the crunch means it's in whichever the program folder the campaign cartographer is. Symbols, cosmographer, high space four symbols, has a text. So now you can see that that is in fact relative. The next thing to check up is the uh, resolutions. Now, the resolutions I'm going to be bringing these one in is actually one foot is a hundred pixels. I've made all of these uh, images 1,000 uh, pixels wide and 500 pixels deep or 10 foot by 5 foot. So I want to put this in as 100 pixels. So for every foot, it's basically times 100 by uh, 10, you get 1,000, so that matches the drawing. Makes sense? Now the reason you want that is that is the size that these symbols will be dropped in by default. So when I click on a symbol in the symbol catalog that we will finally create, go to put it down my drawing by default, most of these will actually appear across 10 foot. Um, the layer where it's going down on, um, we will have these go down on the single definition, that's fine. Um, I also recommend selecting other resolutions. This is not absolutely essential, but what this does is it makes sure that the campaign cartographer will automatically create smaller or in some cases larger versions of these symbols. So if you were zooming in and out of the map, it would call upon a different one of these um, PNG files at a different resolution so that this processing speed would not would not get dragged down and also the printing would be relatively appropriate. You can also select the origin. Now I want it so that when I drop this down the symbol center will go exactly where the mouse is. Um, that's pretty much all that you have to do. Now I'm just going to click on OK and uh, the system is thinking away to itself now. It will take a It'll take about a minute or so to bring all of these in. There's quite a lot of them. And when it's done, it will bring up this. We've got 69 PNG files which have been processed. I'm going to click on OK. It's asking me if I want to save this. Um, I'm going to go uh, just do that a bit later. Now you can see that the symbols that are now in our map are all of these. And if I could actually demonstrate this by putting one down, we'll zoom in on that for you. We can see other symbols here, maybe, and so forth. So these symbols now work, they're all good. I'm just going to get rid of those. So that's how we bring in the, the symbols and how we create them into our catalog. The problem is this catalog is not yet usable by Campaign Cartographer. In other words, it's just a symbol catalog. We can't use it with other maps. What we need to do is export all of these symbols as a symbol catalog. So to do that, I'm going to go to Symbols. I'm going to click on uh, Symbol Manager. I'm going to select the first one on the list. And you can see this icon, this button now becomes active, Save as Catalog. I'm going to drag all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to mark them all. Now before I save it as a catalog, I'm going to click, click on Options. And this brings up a whole range of interesting options for all of the, you know, for when you're laying down a symbol from this catalog. The first thing I'm going to look for is um, force sheet. Now, force sheet is really useful. This means that when a symbol is dropped down for the first time onto a design, it will, it will drop down onto the sheet that is most appropriate for the symbol. Now, I'm going to actually create a new sheet in my maps for these specifically. And I'm going to call these, oopsie, 
symbols, like the symbols layer, floor signs. Okay, And then I'm going to put an asterisk at the end of it. That means that if a user creates additional layers, maybe you know floor signs raised, floor signs lowered, floor, floor signs glowing, or whatever it is, that there will be a sheet that, that these symbols will go down onto that sheet if that's what they have got selected. It just gives you a bit more flexibility. Um, I'm going to click on OK. That's probably all I need to do at the moment. And then I'm going to go Save as a Catalog. This is where the magic really takes place. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but that actually didn't save the, the catalog file. And there's a little bit of a, a glitch or a, a gotcha inside Campaign Cartographer. It gets me very, very often. And that is when you try to save a catalog uh, file from a new default map, you can see up here that this is just called map.fcw, quite often it actually won't save the catalog. To get around that, you simply go File, Save As, and then we'll give it a name and we'll just call it Temp FCW. Now, FCW is the, the map format. Okay, so it's asking if we want to replace it. Yep. Now, once you've done that, we can actually come back into our Symbol Manager. Uh, we'll mark all of our items again. We'll redo our options just to make sure. There we go. Oh, force. Always put that asterisk in if you're going to use the force sheets. And OK. And now we can save as a catalog. And this time it, it works correctly. And what we're going to do is instead of saving it as a um, map, which is the FCW format, we are saving it as a symbol catalog here, FSC. So let's go to our C drive go to our Pro Fantasy folder, program folder, go to CC3, go to Symbols, Cosmographer, and I'm going to place it in here. So you can see I've actually already put a file in here, but I'm just going to overwrite that one. There we go. So it's saved the catalog. I'm going to close that down now. So what we're going to do now is open up a, a map. So I'm going to go open. Uh, we will open the bridge section of a starship we're working on. Uh, here's, the, here's the bridge section. Now, the question is, how do we actually get our symbol catalog that we've just created into use for this map? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One way is to assign the symbol set that we've created, or the symbol catalog rather, that we've created to one of these buttons. I'm going to show you that in a later video because that's, that's a little bit more esoteric. Um, the other quick way of doing it is just to click this button here and then, which means open new catalog. We'll navigate back to Cosmographer folder. There's our catalog there. I'm going to double click on it to open it. And you can now see that we've got our all of our signs here. Now, if you remember, when I saved this catalog, I actually created a special sheet layer for it called I think it was uh, symbol floor signs. So I'm going to click on my layers here and just make sure that I've got one of those set. Now, when you download all of the uh, templates from the annual in July, this will all be done for you. So you won't have to go through this rigmarole, of course. But for now, I'm wanting to show the more advanced folks how to do this. So you can actually see that there's already some symbol layers here, symbol flat, symbol, symbol wall. I'm going to add a new one grab that layer and I'm going to move that up the stack because as you know, or I hope that you know that maps are always driven in the order, uh, drawn in the order of their um, sheets. So we're going to have this just above all of the deck sheets there. Click on OK. Again, that will be done for you in the base template, but I was just wanting to show you how it will work. I'm just going to save this. Now, let's put down some of our new symbols. I am going to say that in this direction, there's actually a weapons bay. So I know that I've got a nice laser sign somewhere along here. There's my laser sign. Lasfire. There we go. I'm going to whack this one. It's nice and grungy. I'm going to drop that down. Now, if you notice, these are, this is a five-foot grid, and you can see that this Lasfire is a 10-foot wide sign, and I'll just put it there. Bingo. That's how you create a symbol catalog and use it in your own maps. 